Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be special and fun because we're going to be coding a text-based version of Blackjack in Python. Now, if you don't know what Blackjack is, it's simply, in simple terms, it's a card game where there are two participants, the dealer and the player, and they both draw cards and they add up the value of their cards to see who got the closest to 21. Whoever gets the, well, whoever's value gets the closest to 21, they win. Um, if anyone goes over 22, then they lose. Okay, so that's basically, like, I'm not gonna incorporate any of the double, uh, double down, splitting. I'm not gonna incorporate any of the betting part because that's just not really appropriate for the circumstance. But I guess it, just for simplicity's sake, that's how it's gonna be. But, but yeah, I, 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 thought this, I thought this would be fun to make. Now, the main, what we're trying to do here is we're going to have a while loop that's going to be basically controlling the whole flow of the game, all the turns, and uh, basically it's, it's going to take care of all the winning, bust, if anybody goes over 21. And, but in, if you want to begin this code, we're going to actually have to initialize, uh, basically configure the deck and the players, and, no, the deck and the player and dealer hands. So the deck is, uh, it's from A, now an A, an ace in blackjack, it could be a 1 or an 11 depending on the circumstance, then 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth until 10. Now if you're wondering why I have 4 10s here, one I have like the normal 10, the card, and this is for the jack, the queen, and the king, they all represent a 10 in blackjack, uh, not 11, 12, or 13. And so I have these 13 cards here, and I'm gonna multiply them. I'm gonna multiply this list by four. So instead of 13 elements, we're gonna have 52 elements. We're gonna have 52 cards, just like normal deck. Now we're gonna use random dot shuffle to shuffle the deck, and uh, we're not gonna print that deck. That was just like debugging purposes. And now we're gonna initialize the player's hand, which is gonna be an empty list, and the dealer's hand is also gonna be an empty list. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna deal. Uh, cards to each player so uh, as you may know the player gets uh, the card first and so we're gonna use a deal function here back to the deal function this one what it does is it uh, just takes one random actually not one random just it takes the first card you know, we shuffle the deck I was gonna take the top card from the deck and it's gonna pop it now the pop method what that does is not only does it remove an element from a list it also returns that element so by using deal we're not only gonna remove that card from the deck but we're gonna add it to the player's hand like this player hand dot append deal and now we can do the same for the dealer and then the player again so the player has two cards at this I mean yeah two cards in their hand at this point and the dealer only has one now after the player goes the, deal, the dealer will get their card Okay, now first we're gonna print the dealer and player's hands because that will help them, like you know, strategize. And now it's the player's turn. The player always goes first, so this is we're gonna take an input from the user, the action, whatever action they want to do. So if that action is hit, if they want to hit, in other words, draw a card, then the players we're, we're gonna append. We're gonna use a deal function again, and we're gonna append a card to the player's hand. Sim while sim uh, while sim Sorry, while simultaneously removing that from the deck. So that's what hit is gonna do. Otherwise, if the user doesn't, if the user does not want to hit, because in a lot of cases, you, maybe like you have like 19, like your total value, and your goal is to get as close to 21 as possible. Now, let's say you don't want to hit because if you get like a four, then you're gonna get 23, and it's gonna be over 21. So if you're really close to 21, then you should just stand. And you know, hope that the dealer doesn't get higher than you. So now, we, so basically, when you stand, it does nothing. But now it's the dealer's turn, and now the I kind of made like a really, really teeny tiny mini algorithm here. It's basically just if the dealer's value is above 17 and its value is above the player's hand, of course, it will stand because. It doesn't want to, you know, it's above 17, it's pretty close to 21, and also it's bigger than the player's hand, so, player's stands. Otherwise, the dealer just uh, hits, and um, that's basically it, that's the two turns. 
and now we're gonna look into bust. Bust is when uh, any player goes over 21. If player goes over 21, then dealer wins. If dealer goes over 21, then player wins. And another way to win, of course, is to get as close to 21 as possible. So just if if this doesn't happen, right? If nobody goes over 21, because if they did, then the loop would break. So we would never even get to the winning part, right? So whatever comes after winning, right? It's, this is all just assuming, of course. This is all only gonna execute when everybody's below 21. Now, if player's hand is above dealer's hand, then the player wins. And the same thing for the dealer, and they could also have a tie, which is also called a push. All right, now, now that I've explained the code, let's see how it, oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. This is the total function. What it does is it just basically goes through every card and it calculates the total of it. This is a little bit complicated because if it's an ace, like I said, it could be a one or an 11. So by default, they're an 11, but if it busts, so if the ace is uh, causing the player to go over 21, then it automatic automatically becomes a one. The ace becomes a one, and we subtract 10 for the main value. Yeah, that's it. It, it might be look a little complicated, but this is how I could uh, I, I incorporated that concept into the game. And yeah, so so that that's what the total function does. And now let's run and test this. So the dealer's hand is 10, and the player's hand is an ace and a two. An ace by default is 11, so that's 13. Let's say you want to hit. So uh, uh, we hit a nine. Um, now a nine, of course, that puts us that puts us um, above 21, and the dealer only hit a three, so that means a dealer wins. Now something that let's let, let's actually run this again. Okay, so now let's say we want to stand because th we're this is what I wanted to explain that that we're so close to 21, like we're 19, so we could just stand and the dealer hit a four so the dealer had two they hit a four so now their total is six our total is 19 so we win we're the close we're like by a far amount we're closer to 21. let's do this one more time now the dealer's hand is five and our hand is 13. let's say we want to hit again now we hit a 10 so we definitely busted this says bust right here so because we went over 21, right? Uh, thir 13 plus 10 is 23. And regardless of what the dealer, uh, even, even if the dealer busts, we bust first. So regardless, the dealer wins. Let's play this one more time. Now, we, we're, our total is 15, so I, I guess technically we should hit. Oh, sorry, I misspelled hit, okay. Okay, so 17. Actually, at 17, I feel like we should stand. And yeah, dealer hit, hit a 9, so dealer's, dealer got a 13 and a 9, so they have like a 12 now, and we have a 17. Sorry, guys, just one last time, just uh, 13, and I'm just going to hit again. Uh, and so I hit, we hit a 10, so we bust, and dealer wins. So that was Blackjack and Python. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please, please, please smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your coder friends. And I will see you in the next video.